my friends and welcome back to the shop. Today we have a Ruger Blackhawk convertible 357 9 millimeter. It it's my personal one and this one is is kind of a one of a kind. It's not like any other Ruger Blackhawk you've seen before. Let's get down on the bench and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here we are down on the bench and what we've got, we can see the we can see the Ruger box. We have got a it is a convertible Blackhawk. And we have on the inside of here, uh, it's probably showing up a little hot underneath the lights, but what we do have is we've actually got a, a, a certificate of provenance, or at least what I would call a certificate of provenance, because this details what's been done to this particular firearm, and it's been done from, uh, and it's been done from Ruger, so it's warranted. Um, and underneath, here we go, one, two, three. A very, very interesting convertible blued Blackhawk. So what we have here is we have a six, six and a half inch bore, right? We've got a, a, a what's installed now. What's installed currently is a 357 Magnum cylinder. And what we've done is we've outfitted this particular uh, Super Blackhawk with, or I'm sorry, this particular Blackhawk with a hammer and trigger group from a Super Blackhawk. Um, and outfitted it, and now it's outfitted with a, a uh, nine millimeter cylinder. And what makes this one even cooler is that in a six and a half inch barrel configuration, we also have a steel, a steel grip frame and a rosewood laminate grip. Um, just a just a really uh, a really fantastic a really fantastic uh, single uh, single action single action platform. Let's bring it down a little bit closer here and show you some of the. Uh, show you some more details but when we actually look at when we look at what's been uh what's been done to this thing and what's going on with it we can see here we got the blackhawk logo right uh, uh 357 magnums detailed there um really uh really nicely done uh cast parts uh cast parts from from ruger i'm a big fan of their single action guns uh not so much on the uh not so much on the uh double action on the double action front but i think their single action stuff is really pretty incredible we'll get into that and maybe in another video and then here's our here's our nine mil cylinder so for those of you that don't know what's happening here what we've got is we have a 357 magnum cylinder and a nine and a nine millimeter cylinder so this shoots Good old-fashioned nine-millimeter autoloader. I'll grab one of those in a minute, just so we can look at it. Just so we can look at a um, at a uh, comparison. But what it does, and now let me see if we can get the light down in here in a way. And I know that this is going to get kind of blown out. But what you what we're having trouble seeing, and maybe you can see it, is that you can see that this has a matte finish, and then it turns into a polished finish down inside of this charge hole and you can see just sort of the end of the q-tip where i'm pointing so this index is the way that this holds on to a nine millimeter cartridge because this is a single action gun and it doesn't it doesn't require anything else other than for this to sit on the rim of the case mouth so that is that's how it's indexed down and down inside of this down inside of this in here cylinder all right, the spent the spent brass was a little flared. So what we've got here is we've got an actual new cartridge. So what we can see is we can see when we put this thing in here that this is just going to go down and it's just going to sit flush with the end, and it's just going to sit flush with the end of the cylinder. And then we're going to be able to uh, that's going to index properly. We're going to have proper headspace here. And as it comes around inside of the gun, we're going to get. Uh, we're going to get positive. Uh, we're going to get a positive ignition on it. Um, so, like I said, this sort of this. I don't usually. I will not bring live ammo onto the bench typically. Um, but uh, this little this little piece of spent brass wasn't really cutting it. Now, the difference in between these two is when we look at 357 Magnum, and you're thinking, well, this is a pretty large discrepancy in between in between cartridges, and you'd absolutely be 100% correct. But 357 Magnum and 38 Special use the exact same projectile. They're both 357, not 380. And guess what? 380 and 9 millimeter also use the same projectile. So what we're talking about here is we're talking about essentially three different calibers that are very, very similar in the in actual projectile size that all are going to be able to shoot out of the exact same gun. Uh, to me, 
that's pretty cool. I'm going to put this 357. It usually lives with a 357 Magnum cylinder in it because I think that that is pretty cool. Um, so if we go ahead and put this thing back, uh, go ahead and put this thing back in. Um, and um, we'll just set this back up here for a 357 Magnum. Yeah, so we've got a convertible gun. We can take this cylinder out and put this cylinder back in, and we can run 9mm, 38 Special, and 357 Mag. Guys, it has been an absolute pleasure. I really wanted to go over. Uh, I really want to go over convertible guns and just kind of talk a little bit about this particular one. I bought this for myself when I first became a pistol instructor because I thought it was just cool. And then I really wanted to take some time and add uh, and kind of add some provenance to it and get Ruger to uh, and get Ruger to help me build a gun that I wanted to buy. Um, if anybody is familiar with RW grip frames, we might still do uh, an old school brass grip frame on this because I think it would be really cool. And I think, that, I think that's a video that you guys would want to see. If you think that this revolver is super cool, drop a like on this video. If you think that you want, if you think that you want me to, to put a brass grip frame on here, subscribe to this video because I think that that would be super cool and I think you guys would like to check it out. Guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. If you like the video, like the video and I'll catch you in the next one.